This is Sebastian. He has 15 kilograms. And he's still eligible for being in the soft carrier, like that called Manduka. You can put him to the front. Look, when the car is in. So it looks like a front pocket. Fix it at the back. So a majority of the weight will reside on my front shoulders. A bit. Just there, it's roughly in the terrain. It's very common practice for small children, but it's still perfectly eligible. This other option is to use the same carrier for bike carrying. It's more tricky. You put your child over there, flip the carrier around. So you see it's on my front. Okay. And try. This is how it looks when you use the same soft carriers with the configuration for back carrying. So I have the hip belt. It doesn't really support my hips. I feel that Seb's weight is roughly over there and a bit on my shoulders as well. The carrier cell is different. It's hiking backpack which you can fully adjust the child is in it. So when I'm putting my child on, he's securely strapped, so no more, no more jiggling with the child. I put it on my knee, I slide it on my back. The weight limit is 20 kilograms plus the carrier. So let's talk 23 kilograms you can actually carry. I say that you can configure it the way that 60 to 70 percent of weight resides on your hips, the rest on your shoulders. It's quite comfortable, even for heavy loads. The difference is, although that the child is further from your body, it means that when Sebastian was in the Manduka, he was just touching my back. Now it's pulling a bit more. I can adjust it using the straps, but still the feeling is a bit different. Although over the time I would say it's more comfortable. Same shot from the back. So when I'm lifting the carrier up, I have it on my knee. Slide it on my shoulders. Reach for the other shoulder belt. And I click the hip belt. The belt must be really tight. Also reach for the leg stand.